All right, phase two, expanding your reach. Now you have a wonderful brand identity. You're doing all the things. If you get in front of a prospect, you're probably gonna close that prospect because you got all this nice stuff like presentation folders. Okay, cool, Tom, heard that all sounds good, but I need leads. I need leads, right? That's what we're all thinking. We need leads, so how do we get leads? Well, number one on this list is hire a marketing intern or coordinator. Because if you actually do everything on this list right now that I'm covering with you, it's going to take 10 to 20 hours a week. So 40 to 80 hours a month. You don't have that kind of time. Unless you're the marketing coordinator watching this, then you probably have this time. And I'm really glad you're watching this. But if you're not the marketing coordinator, then you need to make sure you hire a marketing coordinator or intern. We have guides on how to do that with job descriptions and uh, questions and where to post. That's going to be critical. And you go, well, how do I hire them? Have them listen to the podcast, give them this guide and all the other guides. That's it. That's how we train our interns. Just give them these guides. All right, moving on. Get a peer group. Eventually, MSB Camp is probably going to have peer groups. Right now, it does not. So in the meantime, there are lots of good peer groups out there. There's Tech Tribe, which I love and I'm still a member of, and tons and tons of other peer groups. But make sure you get a peer group. Make sure you and make sure they're like a little bit ahead of you. I don't know if you want to be in peer groups with a bunch of small MSPs. We were a, we were the smallest MSP in our peer group. Now we're one of the largest, right? Because we wanted to aspire to get to where the people in our peer groups were. So get a peer group. Begin producing or posting weekly videos. So because you're a member, you have access to a lot of videos that you can post. And we have a social media calendar in the checklist that, that Stephen is going to be going over. But try and produce your own. In addition to the content on MSP Camp, try and produce your own videos. They're going to suck at first. Trust me, mine were terrible, terrible. But you just got to keep doing it and you're going to get better at it. Consistently post on social media, especially LinkedIn, especially as of late. Like I thought LinkedIn was dying. This is November 22nd, 2022. It's doing great. We're getting more leads from LinkedIn than ever. And it's because we're consistently posting on LinkedIn. This is organic. This isn't like LinkedIn advertising. This is me consistently posting on my LinkedIn. I've connected to just about everybody with owner or president in their name in my local city, right? And uh, so that's helped a little bit. So a little tip there. Make sure pixels and tracking are set up on your website. This is super duper duper important and only takes a few minutes. We have a guide on how to do this. You just put the header and footer code on all the pages for Google, and you want to get your pixel set up on Facebook. Make sure that is done, please. Because when someone finds your website, they're not going to convert right away. They're going to leave, and they may forget about you. So this pixel will allow you to remarket to them, and we include remarketing ads in the campaigns. So make sure you get that set up. Follow them. I followed them for six months. I know that sounds crazy. And some people are like, oh, you only should, should only do remarketing for seven days. I've had people three to four months later call me back. So just make sure that's set up. Begin investing time and money in local SEO. Don't overcomplicate SEO. If you're not paying a company like two grand a month, and you're paying some company 500 bucks a month, they're not really doing much for you when it comes to SEO. A lot of local SEO, which is what most MSPs are, is making sure that your website is tailored towards your city, setting up separate location pages for cities in your county, and getting a ton of reviews on these listings, and making sure your list listings are posted on like social media, and make sure they're filled out completely. If you're doing those things, you're doing more than 90% of MSPs. Don't be tricked by some SEO company that's called emailing you saying they're going to fix your SEO. But you do need to start begin investing time and money into local SEO at this point. You've got your brand, you've got your testimonials, you've got your reviews. Now it's time to start investing in SEO. SEO has brought in, I don't know the exact number at the moment, but I would say easily forty to $50,000 in MRR just from SEO, from the marketing we've done. So don't skip out on this. Set up landing pages for specific campaigns. That is very self-explanatory. If you're running the Microsoft 365 campaign, make sure your landing page looks good and talks about Microsoft 365. Usually you want to do a motion right at the top, whatever their pain point is, logic, and then fear. 
That's a good landing page coming from Russell Bronson. I love that guy. Like he knows how to do landing pages. Make sure your landing page has that similar structure. And again, ask us if you need help with anything. If you have questions with anything, just ask us. We are here. We're happy to help. We want all members to be happy and use the content and grow their business. Start your webinar trainings. Don't skip this either. But this is one of those things that takes a lot of time. That's why you need to have an intern or a coordinator. Webinar trainings are important. You set up, here's a training on Excel, Microsoft Forms, bookings, et cetera. You want to do one a month. You send it out to your clients and your prospects. 80% of the people that attend are going to be clients. That's not a problem because it's, it's client satisfaction. They start bringing in their friends. And then every now and then you get a nice lead from it. This is just something you need to be consistently doing. It's been a game changer for our business. Set up remarketing. So remember we did the tracking code earlier on. Well, now you actually want to be setting up those ads. Go look at the content that your membership includes right now, any of that content can be used in your advertising and remarketing. We have specific remarketing pieces, but on the Facebook, for instance, you're like, I might want to use that motion graphic video for my remarketing ad on Facebook. Hold quarterly lunch and learns. So each quarter you have these campaigns, VoIP, Microsoft 365, co-manage, et cetera. It'd be good if you can try and get your lunch and learn to match those in a fun way. Don't be lame or boring and make sure again, you invite your clients. Just like the webinars, get your clients involved. Not only is it going to help retain, it's going to retain your clients, but it's also going to make it look like a lot of people care about what you're doing. Begin requesting MDF. We have a whole podcast on how to get MDF. We also have a guide on how to get MDF. Do not drop the ball here. Every vendor, you spend a lot of money. They're willing to give you money to grow your business. And we show you how to get it, how to claim it, how to um, submit proof and ways to kind of get around, well, I didn't get any leads from this campaign. Yes, you did. And this is how you can show them that you did. Develop your partnerships. Totally honest, this is something we do not do very well, but it's something I'm trying to get better at. Developing center of influences, those internet service providers or those VoIP providers or whatever that can give you leads as well as you giving them leads. Turn it, I don't know why I do this so badly, but it always turns out we just give them leads and they never give us leads. But uh, if you crack the code on how to develop good partnerships, please let me know. But it's something you should definitely be doing and it's something we need to prove on ourselves. Now you're maturing in your marketing. You're doing the things. And I promise if you consistently do all these things all the time, you are going to grow. This is what we've done and we've grown a lot and we continue to grow. At this point, you want to start reviewing your analytics. How many people are visiting my website? What pages are they visiting? Go to Google Search Console. What keywords are people finding? How are they finding us? There's a lots and lots and lots of analytics you can take advantage of. You just want to get a report if you're the owner. If you're the coordinator, you kind of want to get in the weeds with this a little bit. How do you improve your marketing through the analytics? 